In August of last year, Kei Nishikori shut down his season due to a wrist injury. But this week, Japan's number one made his return to the ATP World Tour. It wasn't easy. There was many decisions I have to make, you know, for this uh, wrist. I almost get a surgery, but I try not to do, and now it's recovering well, so it took a long time to get recovered. I was in Belgium first time doing rehab with this physio, Sam. Uh, he was very good. It wasn't easy doing rehab, you know, every day, um, like two, three months straight, but I was, you know, I was mentally fresh. My wrist is ready and my body is ready now, so Hopefully I can get more, you know, good matches in this tour level and uh, hope get more uh, confidence. Nishikuri returned to competition in January, playing two ATP Challenger Tour events. When we started playing the Challengers a couple of weeks ago, you know, just to go match by match and it's not easy to come back after six months. You got to start, uh, you know, feeling all those butterflies and sensations that, that you used to feel, you know, before the getting injured. That's what we've been working this last couple of weeks in all the tournaments. So, so far, so good. I chose Challenger because there was no tournaments after Australia. So uh, it was good level, you know, many good Americans was playing. So it was an easy tournament and uh, able to win a second week. So gave me uh, a lot of confidence. We approach them very seriously. You get better on every match, you know, that you play. So that's why I think it's very important to be professional on, on any tournament that you play. First match was very, very tough, and I was happy, you know, playing on the center court. But it wasn't easy. But uh, second week, I was get used to every match was improving and challenge, and uh, I was enjoying on the court. So it was it was good to play uh, those two two challenges. I know what K can do. So on the court, so we have to be working uh, on everything. You know, he hasn't been playing that many matches, so that's, uh, you know, when you play matches, then you know what to work a little better. We've been working on trying to get better on specific shots, you know. These changes included small adjustments to his service action. I had almost, you know, three, four months to change the things, and I made a little more shorter, and for my wrist, I, I thought it's better. I had it many times, so I was able to, to change quickly and uh, now I feel more confident than before. We just keep working uh, as hard as possible, you know, and uh, uh, continuing uh, getting better and better. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to get full confidence and playing 100% so I can be there, you know, quick as possible so to reach top 10 again and go from, you know, every week and uh, try to do my best. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, fantastic February continues in Rio, Delray Beach and Marseille. And he's a next-gen star in the making. It's Felix Auger Aliassine. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.